Hello everybody, my name is Johnny Blocks, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's News. To be honest, it's not really much news because I'm only focusing on one very specific topic in today's video. Don't worry, tomorrow we got a lot of news on the Fanverse initiative. The creative pop goes Evergreen Kane Carter said on Twitter that he has submitted a fan game to Scott to see if it can get into the initiative. And the creator of FNAF Plus Viznam went crazy on Twitter with a uh, Ask Me Anything, which he revealed quite a bit of info on the game. But we're not here for that. We're here for everybody's favorite king of FNAF, Markiplier. With the other day, he released a video titled Happy Birthday Chica. First off, the most important thing to take away from this video is Happy Birthday Chica, even if I am a couple days late. And in the video, he says the following. Uh, you may have noticed that videos have been haphazard at best. Um, I've been number one, writing a ton, but number two, in about a month, I leave to film something. I'm playing the lead role in a project that I can't tell you about yet, but um, I'm that's happening. And uh, Chica, you're very- So he reveals that, quote, in about a month, he has to go film something that he is the main role in. Now, a couple things stuck out to some people. Number one, the FNAF movie starts filming in spring, and we are about to go into spring. And also, if this was a Markiplier project, like a heist with Markiplier 2, which I believe is still in the writing phase, I'm not sure though, why would Markiplier need to specify that he is the lead role? Wouldn't we assume that if it's one of his projects, he would be the lead role? So it got a few people thinking and there's been a lot of discussion recently about is Markiplier in the FNAF movie? Is he the main role? Is he Mike Schmidt? I'm just gonna be straight up. We don't know. We have no clue what Mark is referring to in this video. He is a very busy guy. He says it so many times he's always working on projects for his community so this could just be another one of his projects. But again, why would he specify that he's the lead role? Personally, I don't think he's gonna be in the FNAF movie. If anything, I hope he's a cameo. I think I speak for everyone in the FNAF community that Markiplier, Darko, and MadPat are probably the three most deserving people who deserve a cameo in the film. Again, personally, I would not want him to be a lead role. I just want him to be a, a background cameo, a little Easter egg for fans of the community to find. Personally, I would find it very difficult to get serious and actually enjoy the film if the lead role is the guy that went purple, purple guy and is that the, the bite of 87 he is a very memeable character especially in the fnaf community with the whole is that the bite of 87 meme so it is a very familiar face that would get a lot of you know people talking like oh my gosh the king of fnaf markiplier is the main role in the fnaf film but at the same time i just i would not be able to take it seriously i mean it's freaking mark edward fishbach playing michael schmidt i think mark's a great guy great looks great voice great acting i just he doesn't fit for me i'm sorry i'm also just not a huge fan of movies casting big celebrities to play their lead roles. Also, this movie is like, what, five, six years into the making, they're only just starting the filming process. And I'll tell you right now, filming a film does not take just one month, especially if you are the lead role. Yeah, like I was saying, this movie has been years in the making and Scott wants to have it be perfect for not only the fans, but also the general horror audience. Yes, fans of FNAF very obviously are going to go see the film. We've waited years for this, literally like like half a freaking decade. But also, casual horror fans are gonna say, oh, FNAF, that's that hit horror game. Yeah, sure, I'll go watch it. You can't expect everyone that is gonna see the movie be a diehard FNAF fan. So while yes, Mark would be a very familiar face that would bring in a lot of brand new characters in, characters, uh, fans into the fandom, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, guys. Again, at the end of the day, we can only speculate. I came on here because I wanted to state my opinion while also share a bit of the news. And in my opinion, it just feels like fan service. You know, again, like, it's been so many years in the making. Scott wants to have it be perfect. And to have the main role just be the screaming King of FNAF guy. I'm not trying to diss on Mark. No way, no how. Again, I freaking love the dude. But I don't know, guys. You can make an argument for both sides, saying that he is in the movie and that he's not in the movie. But right now, all we know is that he's filming something next month that he can't share a whole lot of that he is the main role in. But yeah, 
Adding on to the whole is Markiplier in the FNAF movie thing, I just want to clear up a lot of confusion going on with the FNAF movie because it has been in the making for, again, so many years there's of course a lot of misinformation out there. As far as the community is aware, the people working on the film are Scott, Jason Blum, the CEO and founder of Blumhouse Studios, who are producing the film, and I also believe 1492 Films are also uh, in the process of making the film along with Blumhouse. Chris Columbus is the writer for the film, and there are no cast members. I am telling you this, because if you look up Five Nights at Freddy's movie into Google, the first thing that comes up is a article, or not an article, but a search result off to the right side that has a lot of misinformation. First up, you got two cast members who are definitely not in the movie. Search results like this can be edited by anyone, and also IMDB. It's also, much like Wikipedia, just a place where anybody can edit the information, which is why you see so many fake movie posters on IMDB for the FNAF film. I think the community has a very big issue when it comes to just taking every single thing at face value. Look deeper into things, do your research, and only trust official sources like Scott, Blumhouse, and anybody else who is directly working on the film. Jason Blum, again the CEO and founder of Blumhouse. He is on Twitter quite a lot and in the past has replied to quite a few people talking about the FNAF film. And this isn't only for the FNAF film. Again, Security Breach, that's a great example. There are so many leaks going around about the release date, the price tag, really just wait, we're gonna get news, we're gonna get the game, we're gonna get the film eventually. It's a problem that I've had with the FNAF community for a long time, and it's unfortunate that we still have to deal with this to this very day. Again, I just wanted to hop on, share my thoughts, share some of the news. In conclusion, do we know that Markiplier is in the FNAF movie? No, we don't. I really don't like making videos like this, not only because do I have to keep emphasizing the point of people do your research, look into things, don't take things at face value, that's the entire point of game theory, but also, it it just, the, the subject matter is very clickbaity for me, and I feel like if I make videos like this, it just feels like I'm trying to mislead you guys, and some people will look at the title and the thumbnail and only think, oh, Markiplier, FNAF movie, well I guess he's in it. It also doesn't help that most people won't make it to the end of the video and therefore don't see everything that I have to say. But if you did make it to the end, smash the like button, subscribe if you're brand new. Again, tomorrow I'm back with FNAF news, I got a lot of stuff to talk about with the FNAF Fanverse Initiative, King Carter, Fiznam, and also a brand new event in FNAF AR is starting on the 1st of April. They better not freaking prank us with some absurd BS. <laughs> Anyways boys, it's been real, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.